Well, praise the Lord, everybody. This is Bishop Warren Boyd, and I want to welcome you to our Monday Motivation. Today, I want to talk to you about strong hands, strong hands. Uh, John chapter number 10, verses 27 through 29 tell us, uh, My sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. And I give unto them eternal life, and they shall never perish. Neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. My Father, which gave them me, is greater than all, and no man is able to pluck them out of my Father's hand. Well, one of the things that I've noticed about aging is uh, for us naturally, there's a, a loss of muscle mass and a ma loss of strength. And one of the areas that is most notice noticeable is in hand strength. Yeah, I, I, periodically I've noticed uh, young men uh, able to uh, lift things and to move things seemingly very easily. Uh, I've had times of uh, humility and somewhat embarrassment for myself uh, when my sons or grandsons are, are able to, to lift things with great ease, uh, uh, things that I've struggled with or uh, able to open up a jar because their hand strength is greater. Things that I struggled with, they were able to open very easily because of the strength of their hands. Uh, and hand strength for all of us is important. From, from the time we wake up in the morning till the time that we go to, to bed, uh, brushing our teeth in the morning or turning the, the light off at night, hand strength is important to us all. And when hand strength begins uh, to decrease, uh, we're more likely to lose grip, to fumble, to drop, or to lose things. Hand strength helps us to secure what, whatever it is that we hold. Aren't you glad today uh, that God's hand strength uh, does not wane? Uh, the God of the ages, no matter how old he is, if you could if you could actually uh, count his age, his hand strength does not decrease. His hand strength is ever stronger. So the Savior says that no man is able to pluck the, my, my sheep out of my hand and no man is able to pluck them out of my father's hand. The hand strength of God is doubled. We are in the Savior's hands and we are in the Father's hands as well. What a, what a place of security and what a place of safety and what a place of comfort to know that we're in his hands and his hands will not get weak. God's hands in the word tells us that God's hands are strong in order to drive out our enemies. God's hands uphold us and God's hands hold us so that we should not fear that it's God's hands that provide for us a place of rest so that our enemies become our footstools. It's God's hands that are good for everyone who seeks him, and his hands are never too short that he cannot save. It's his hands that cleanse us. It's his hands that lead us. It is in his hands, he says, that our names are engraved to show uh, his, that we are his possession. His hands are glorious in power. T today, I want you to be glad. I want you to rejoice in the fact uh, that the, the God of all ages will not drop you, will not fumble you, will not lose his grip on you. Today, you and I uh, should take solace in the fact that we're safe in his hands. God bless you. God's got good hand strength.